Steve, uh, half time, 1 0 up, then you let them equalise, but you've come away with a very, very impressive 5 1 victory here at Steel Park. Good days? Oh, yeah, when you, when, when you have a, a, such a, a, a big win like that, you know, yes, it's obviously a, a very good day, but, um, you know, I think we, we kind of we huffed and puffed first half and, and probably could have been maybe 3 or 4 up, um, which, which wouldn't have flattered us at all. Um, we created chance after chance and, and, and looked solid at the back, but it was, um, you know, it was it was a day to day where we had, we, 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 you know, we, you could come out before and, and like uh, a few others have and says, oh yeah, we've we've got we've got illness and we've got injuries and all the rest of it. We had it galore today. I mean, we've we've had um, uh, Jake Bettles off ill today, not been not been with us all week. Um, we've had two or three uh, others who haven't trained this week with with a with a, a sickness bug. Uh, then we've got the likes of Joel uh, out could could make it. Dan George injured, Lingy played injured. So I mean, we were we were at sixes and sevens with players today of trying to trying to get them on the football pitch. Um, but that, that that shows a character, you know. That shows the kind of players that we do have that they actually want to be here and want to be here for the right reasons. And and for me. When knowing that, and everybody else watching doesn't doesn't quite know all that kind of stuff beforehand. Me knowing all that, I was absolutely delighted to come in that first half so dominant. And then you could see probably three or four of them kind of starting to feel it second half. Um, and, and I think that was the case of it. You know, I think I think that the, the kind of fitness was kicking in with the illness and the, the injuries were starting to pull up. And and, and you know it was just about kind of trying to get ourselves over that line and. They scored a wonder goal to come back in it, and then the character shown to, to go and to go and take control of the, the, the game and, and go and see it out and, and thought it really that happens is absolutely magnificent. So, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with the result and the performance today. But it is very useful the fact that there are so many chances being created, and that shows that the work, the fact that the, the good work that's put in during training is being paid off. If, if not, that the fact they're coming off in front of goal, you're still creating chances and uh, being dominant in games. Exactly, and I mean. The hardest part of football is putting the ball in the back of the net. So, you, you know, that if, if we're, we're, we're working the ball up to that, that point, we're, we're, we're moving it really well, we're, we're finding great areas, and, and then it's just the final thing now. You know, and if, if, if we ended up, well, put it this way, if we ended up putting, if we ended up putting all of those chances in the back of the net, We'd, we'd, we'd be well and truly up the top of that league and, and flying. It's all about consistency, of course, you've got that. It's all about winning games to keep the pressure on the teams at the top of the table. They've played each other today, Bromsgrove Sporting and Sports, Peterborough Sports. 4-3 Bromsgrove Rovers come out winners, so um, a stop sports running away with it, of course, but uh, a draw would have been preferable, preferable would it have been? It's December. It's December. We've, we've, we've not even halfway through the season, um, so that puts us two points off the top of the league, not even halfway through, so not for us, to be honest. We'll, 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 we'll just keep doing what we're doing, and, and, and with the, the, the squad we've put together and the, 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 the team, uh, that, that was out there on the pitch together and, and as, a, as a whole, not just that 11, you know, like I said, the boys coming in today. With what we've got here, if we do things right, we'll not be far away. A week off, of course, the next game's next Saturday, but you've got two away games on the bounce. Does that worry you at all? No, not at all. No, I, I, you know, we went away to a team that was uh, banging form last week that had won six in the bounce and uh, we, we comfortably turned them over. Uh, probably should have been a bit more. Uh, but like today again, uh, didn't, didn't finish the chances. So, no, not at all. You know, we, we, we're going to go into every game and we're going to keep doing things the right way. We're going to keep playing football. We're going to keep keep uh, creating chances and, 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 and trying to see the games out in, in, in the, the right way and the right, the right sort of thing. I mean, we're playing in front of 400 odd people every home game and, and we're taking away to, to some of the games 50 to 100 people to some of the games we've got to put on a little bit for them you know it's not just about turning up and, 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 and getting over the line all the time it's sometimes about doing a wee bit more than that and I think we've, we've done that in, in probably 90-95% of the, the games this season and we're going to continue doing that because it's about us it's about what we do and everybody else can worry about that Great victory today Steve thanks very much for your words Cheers thank you